Welcome back. Well, a lot of us are more social as we head into the summer season, and certainly on a day like Memorial Day, a lot of people are reflecting about their own relationships and those in our lives. And today we welcome Coach D. Robinson, author, minister, motivational speaker, and general picker-upper whenever he comes in. We all get a little boost on things <laughs> that, uh, that may be challenging in our life. And today he's going to talk a little bit about evaluating our relationships with various people that we come into contact with throughout our lives. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you, Christy, for having me. It's always a pleasure. And uh, when it comes to relationships, you actually have some interesting ways to look at the roles that we all play with each other, right? Right. You know, with Memorial Day here, it's a time to get together with family, maybe neighbors, uh, business associates. You know, there's always those cookouts. And we look at them as maybe just a cookout, but there's opportunities in those relationships that we can make them lasting. And uh, the first thing I ask people to do is determine if you're the influencer or the one being influenced. Because when you make that determination, then you can go forth with a plan. And that plan can sometimes create some opportunities down the road. Um, when you're the influencer, you're going to develop or you're going to impart some wisdom or something that can be of value to that individual that you're meeting. And if you're not, if you're going to be the one influenced, then that can save a whole bunch of time in gleaming from them. And uh, secondly, uh, the value in these types of relationships. It's not always about us. We have to figure out, we all have some valuable lessons that we've learned through experiences, through life. And we can impart that wisdom and that value to that individual, or we can look at their experiences and become eager enough to learn from it and take it on to help us along the way, down the road. It's kind of like the, the old principle of reaping and sowing. I used to watch Bonanza. It was one of my favorites. I don't know <laughs> if that's on your network, but I love Bonanza. And Ben Cartwright would always talk about the Ponderosa. And the Ponderosa, he said, he told his boys, Little Joe and, and Haas and Adam, he said, every time you cut down a tree on the Ponderosa, plant another one. Hmm. and it's reaping and sowing and so when we're giving to others there's things we can reap back from them and there's always that saying that people are in our lives for a reason that they're there uh, for whatever time or, or purpose and um, your last point uh, uh, kind of has that uh, as far as making uh, the connection with that folks. lasting connection is determined by those first two steps you can determine people are going to remember us Christy but if they remember us for a lifetime, then that connection is made, and we're going to always be a part of their life and them a part of us. If we don't do something to make a lasting impression, a lasting connection, then it's kind of like one and done. You know, I had to throw that basketball thing in there a little bit. <laughs> the but coach and Coach D coming out. Relationships are important, <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, we try to just be a valuable person to that individual that you're meeting, and this is a great weekend to do it. And uh, I'm so thankful for this Memorial Weekend, all the military people I've met and in the past, and I have some very, very valuable relationships with them as well. Yeah, and certainly all, all the way that they have uh, influenced our lives yeah. as well, something, something to consider. Well, uh, we were talking earlier about Facebook and that kind of thing. It oh. seems we're all, we're all connected, but it's good advice to, to think about the relationships, however you're connected <laughs> with those folks, You know, it's folks, more right? than just the connection. You want a lasting, that's the key, lasting connection, one that is going to help you in life, not just a name here, name there. Half those people on Facebook have no clue who they are. <laughs> it's just a name. So create lasting relationships. Oh, good advice. And pleasure as always to have you here with us. And if you're interested in learning about, more about Coach D or any of his services and coaching, it is uh, the website and phone number listed there at the bottom of your screen if you'd like to contact him for more details. Thanks And so much. we have a lasting relationship. <laughs> we do. And always <laughs> glad to see you back here. Thank you. We will be right back with a check of your forecast and find out if those 90-degree temperatures are going to last.